Hi there, my name's Sam. Uh, it's amazing how long a week can feel when it comes to making videos. Um, I took last weekend off from making anything because I wasn't feeling very good. I actually attempted to do the voiceover for this video and it failed miserably. Um, so I decided to wait and do it again. Um, so before I get rambling, I'm going to explain this lot. This is a uh, cinema and arcade lot uh, in Pleasant View, of course. I'm sure you probably figured that much out. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the uh, way it looks, the inside and the outside. Um, this part you're seeing as the stop motion, of course, is just kind of building up the shell of the lot. Um, but yeah, so one key thing about this lot is I decided that I want it to be owned by a sim. Uh, we're gonna utilize the open for business function where they have the, um, there's like a, almost like a little ticket booth that sims come to the lot and pay to um, enter and use the various entertainment things or whatever else is there. And I guess it's kind of like you just hope that you have enough entertaining things to win them over, which I'm hoping I, I will. Um, the, I downloaded, I believe from a creator called Veronica. I think that's how you say their name. Um, I have a ton of their stuff. They did a conversion from, I believe it was The Sims 3, most likely uh, like a cinema set or a movie theater set that came with a bunch of movie theater stuff, uh, theme stuff. And like, mainly I ended up using some, they have like a rug that's like the row that goes between the seats. Um, they have the actual seats themselves and they have the uh, like a big screen. It's like the big movie screen. I think it just functions like a normal TV, hopefully. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know how it'd be kind of funny because technically Sims will just be changing the channel on their own, but it, you, you know, whatever. Um, I guess if we use it as a played lot, we'll be able to kind of control that a little bit. Um, I don't know. Also, I would like for to be able to take certain Sims to this lot to uh, like go on dates and stuff. I think that'd be cool. And I assume, I think you can just visit owned lots just like any other community lot. Um, I really love this lighting that I'm working on here. I'm a big fan of playing with lighting, of course. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of this build. Um, but anyway, you're probably wondering, well, who is going to own this lot? And um, I have d made a decision. So I'm not somebody who is super hardcore on like making my Sims earn every little thing. I like to, to not just hand them everything. Um, but I also like to have the freedom to make, have interesting things happen without having to be kind of held down to, they got to grind out every last simoleon, you know? Um, so I decided that a Sim that we, already have played will um, sell their current business and um, probably me just saying that we well, already figured out who it is it's AJ Loner he's the only sim we have that owns a business um, now when we were originally uh, building his home I had made a uh, kind of a comment that maybe because he's sort of a laid-back sim that seemed they, they kind of write him off like a boring sim and I thought maybe because he's kind of a, he could, we could kind of interpret that as like, he's just kind of a chill dude that maybe likes to sit and watch movies. And then I thought, well, maybe he decides he wants to do something more interesting with his life than own a dusty old convenience store. And instead he wants to uh, take out another loan, much to his wife's dismay. <laughs> he wants to take out another loan and uh, own a, a theater, an arcade in Pleasant View. Um, and there is kind of another motivation for me doing that. And that is something that um, I feel like kind of I, a situation I created with AJ that I don't like. Um, and I, I don't know the, I guess like, the best way I can explain it is that um, I interpret AJ as being um, of Indian descent and or ethnicity. And, um, so there's, there's kind of a, a harmful stereotype, at least in the United States, of uh, that often gets played out in movies and things. And it's unfair that, um, 
any that an Indian individual owns some um, rundown convenience store. And I actually, I didn't even, you know, realize I had done that until I was playing him a little bit. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't like this. I don't like that this kind of aligns with this harmful stereotype. And I mean, the fact that I was sort of ignorant to that what I had created, the situation I'd created, um, I doesn't mean that I'm kind of innocent from that, if that makes sense. I'm not good at talking, but, um, and I kind of, I think it just happened because AJ starts the game as a unemployed fortune sim, and I always want to give him a business and I wanted to keep him in strange town. And at that point I had put the gas station down and I was like, Hey, why don't I just give him that? But, um, I don't know. Uh, the other kind of positive thing here is that the gas station was just kind of a useless front. If you will, it was just kind of for fun trying to sell random crap to townies. <laughs> and, um, but this would be an actual functioning lot that is useful in the community. We can have teen sims come and watch movies. We can have, we could group up a bunch of children sims and have them go play at the arcade together. Like it's a lot more of a functional lot for us. And I like that a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm excited to have AJ uh, own this lot. And I don't know if sims will, uh, like, I don't know if he will appear on the lot when we bring other sims there, if it'll like make him be there. Cause that would be kind of cool. I also like to say, I really love this wallpaper that I picked in here. It was just like a random throw it on and see what it looks like. And I really liked it. Um, but like I said, I really like the interior. I use a lot of this, this light that I'm using on the wall right now is a conversion from the Sims three roaring heights. So it's supposed to be like 1920s themed, but anyway, so, um, I also have kind of the idea, like I said, that AJ will use the loan jar, which he already has a loan, which I think I forgot to have him do any payments towards. Um, but we'll have him take out another loan to buy this lot. So it'll kind of be like AJ's kind of getting a little crazy about, you know, owning businesses and, you know, have to, he's trying to convince Kristen that you have to make, you have to spend money to make money. And, and she, but she's uncomfortable about the debt, but he's trying to get her to, Go along with it and she does and you know it can be like a point of tension i guess um the old drama i had some other stuff to just talk about mention about pleasant view i think we will be uh revisiting pleasant view very soon actually or i mean by that uh playing in pleasant view um we've been playing the college kids and um i think i'm going to tomorrow i'm going to do a gameplay video uh today is the 28th friday um but tomorrow I think I will do a, a gameplay of the two kids that did not go to college, who I'm going to be playing as young adults. I'm going to roughly play them for the amount of time that we have played the college kids so far. It doesn't have to be exact because um, they're not going to be... It, it doesn't really matter because everybody's going to age up to adult. Because like I, I had mentioned before, I'm going to age these two down to young adult, even though they're not in the college world. Um, and we'll just kind of play them for a little while just to say that they also got some of that extra time to build skills and do whatever while their um, siblings and friends were off at college. And um, But once everybody ages to adult, they'll all be evened up anyway. I'm not really a stickler for the ages to be exact. As long as they're roughly okay, I'm fine. Um, but so right now it's just rip grunt and um lilith pleasant who is over in um a which is actually pretty close to this lot a uh, community apartment building i don't really know quite the right name for it it's not really like a flop house technically it kind of is but it's it's kind of a community building i guess um it's an apartment building that is not classified as an apartment lot in the game so we're gonna play all the sims living there at once which might be a little chaotic, but everybody will have their own room that they're assigned to, just a little room with a bed, and maybe a, whatever else they want in there. Um, we'll see how it goes. It, like I said, it might be a little weird, um, but I think it'll be kind of fun to get everybody in this generation closely 
bonded and knowing each other. And like I said, with the college kids, we were finally going to get some interaction between the strange town and the Pleasant View Sims. Um, I'm really excited to see what kind of interaction happens between Rip and Lilith. If they become close friends, I feel like they could be pretty good friends. Um, of course, Lilith ended up um, rolling to be gay, so she would not be interested in Rip. I don't recall if we rolled Rip's um, gender preference yet. I'll have to double check on that. But I usually like Rip to be like bisexual or something. But Oh, that's right. I just remembered he has been dating... Um, what's her name? <laughs> L Lucy Burb. That's who he was dating. And it was kind of a whole thing because he's a romance sim and she's like a little innocent family sim. But, so I kind of went with inside, inside of the building, if I can say words without repeating them. <laughs> um, I, I did more. This plant is also from the Roaring Heights conversion set. I'm saying that right, Roaring Heights. Um, so it's all that 1920s theme, which... Uh, like that Art Deco, I believe, is kind of the proper name. Um, which is a little reminiscent of uh, Miami. Miami tends to be that kind of theme. There's a lot of or other tropical places in the United States that tends to have some leftover Art Deco. And so that's kind of um, what this reminded me of. Like that sort of a tropical town. That's kind of what he's themed it as. I also put, when I was building the outside area, I had that little like flower bed in front of the building. That I actually put like cactus and stuff in. I thought that might be AJ's ode to Strange Town <laughs> with the little desert uh, flower bed out front. I think it'll be really fun to. Uh, I'm really excited to play. Um, Rip and Angela, or Lilith. I always, get, I always say Lilith instead of Angela and Angela instead of Lilith. But, yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I think I might mention again anyway when I when we jump back into Pleasant View for um, gameplay is that there was kind of an issue that I had to fix. Um, when, back a while, I think when I was playing with AJ... There was a um, situation where my game had a, uh, it wouldn't like load. And um, what happened was I had done a ton of troubleshooting um, and with all different, you know, removing custom content, starting the game, trying whatever. And what, what happened was it wasn't that the game wouldn't start up. It would, but it would crash on the uh, first loading screen before you get to the neighborhood selection screen. Um, sometimes it would give like an um, stop responding error and sometimes it would just cold dead just drop and be gone <laughs> um, so I did a ton of troubleshooting and ultimately it looked like it was something corrupted on the like the game files end of things and so I had I backed up of course all my custom content and um, the neighborhoods and everything and uh, I reinstalled the ultimate collection now of course the Sims 2, to my knowledge and my understanding, is considered abandonware, and in turn, it is able to be downloaded for free on the internet. That is my understanding that that is legal, at least in the United States. And uh, so the original version that I had of the Ultimate Collection, now, I actually own all of the different expansions and everything. I actually own all the discs, but having being able to just download the Ultimate Collection is like so much better. And I, the original version I had was from a, a person called Mr. DJ. And I actually discovered shortly after having downloaded it that it really wasn't a true Ultimate Collection. Like it, in the program files, it claimed it had um, the IKEA stuff. But in the game, IKEA stuff never existed. Like I never had any of that. Like things like that wouldn't happen. Um, but I, I was reading through actually my... Um, troubleshooting, I found a, uh, a forum where somebody was discussing how the um, version of the Ultimate Collection that you can uh, download from um, the old games website. I can't think of the proper full name, but um, the 
that the version you can get from them is the actual like origin version and it's more true complete version so i actually downloaded that and, and um unfortunately you have to download like a torrent program to crack open the file that the game site gives you uh, which ended up being more of a pain than the, the actual installing the, the uh, um, game itself, but because um, my computer didn't like a lot of the torrent uh, programs. But anyway, I got it to work and I downloaded it. And so far, it seems like it's first of all, I have actually like the IKEA stuff, which is wicked cool because a lot of the IKEA stuff is just a great, like, basic crap that you can just throw in somewhere, like more modern plain stuff that fit, fills areas better, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Just when you need something plain. But anyway, um, I also feel like it's a little more stable. I really haven't had a ton of pink flashing or anything at all. I had it once today, actually, when I was messing around in another neighborhood. But um, otherwise, it seems pretty good. I've been putting a lot of custom content back in that I took out from the other version because of issues I was having. But Anyway, the issue was I put my I put my um, backed up uh, game neighborhoods back in, and when I loaded them up, everything looked okay. And then I was I went to load the broke family, and my game crashed. And then so I went and like I took out all my custom content. And I thought okay, must have screwed up, and maybe there's something on the lot that I like left out and it's like causing issues or something I don't know I tried to do that I tried to run like the hood checker I ran that on it and fixed anything um everything I tried it wouldn't let me load them I could I went in it would let me load like the burb family and the oldies and the caliente let me load other households but theirs crashed um, and then I experimented with moving them out of their home and into like an empty lot and they loaded up fine and they were they were just fine. <laughs> they were thriving in their little broke lives. Um, so I don't know what it, some kind of some there was some disconnect between maybe the this version and the other version I had that caused an issue. I don't know that if it'll cause corruption. I don't know how it would. Of course, the only issue is, that their um, the uh, skip broke's grave, I'm pretty sure is on their lot. So I didn't like delete the lot or touch it. My, I'm kind of played um, with the idea that maybe the trailer got condemned for like black mold or something, and they had to move to a new one. And that's what I did was I moved them to a trailer down the road. Um, but I also had the same issue with the Pleasant household and the Smith household. They also would not load they would crash the game i had to move them out into new homes which was unfortunate because of course i had gone through all of the um, trouble of making over their homes and i liked playing the their original homes but i i did come up with little storylines for each so um my idea for the pleasant family now of course i i did move Lilith out of their household, so it's just Daniel and Mary Sue. I almost forgot her name for a second. Ma Daniel and Mary Sue. Um, now, I kind of decided maybe they, they took that, like, unhealthy, like, wealthy person, uh, unhealthy relationship, wealthy person direction where they think, like, if they, they buy something that it'll, like, fix their marriage somehow, you know, like a oh, let's buy a boat and we can go boating together and that'll solve all our problems kind of thing. So maybe Mary Sue was like, we need a better house. We need to upgrade our house and have another baby and that'll save our marriage, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> um, so I decided that that was kind of their story. I downloaded, uh, I had, or I placed a lot that I had downloaded quite a long time ago and it's actually a really cool house. Um, I think the person who made it used like just like base game to make it or at least or maybe just ultimate collection like no custom content and they did a really good job so i'm actually excited to play the house because it's nice i didn't do any making over myself except for fixing a couple of things um, that i didn't like the looks of i think i like fixed the porch a little or whatever <laughs> random random change of subject here i really like this um this room here 
It kind of ended up like a little watermelon theme for some reason because I one of the recolors for this really cute chair is like those little watermelons. So the whole thing's watermelon theme. Fun fact. Anyway, <laughs> um, something to note <laughs> is that as soon as I placed Mary Sue and Daniel on the lot, they immediately started to beat the piss out of each other. <laughs> so so that's fun. I made you pause it right there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so that that will be something of, of of note to pay attention to in the future. I'll probably forget and land on the lawn and go, oh, oh my, it's spicy in here. <laughs> um, but then I thought the other one, the Smith family. So the thing about them, they whenever I play them, they seem like they're always scrounging for money. And they're just they have a always they're having a hard time, I guess, because um what's his name pollination <laughs> paul he's uh always um he's technically retired but doesn't actually get a pension i think you can fix that if you wanted to but i i never really do because maybe there's like i figured maybe there's like a reason for some some reason i don't know that he doesn't get it because of alien things i don't know but um so he's usually scrounging we had him starting to write books and stuff which helped a little but then of course um Jenny just has a job as a, a nurse, which doesn't pay a ton, I think. So I thought, well, maybe they decided they've got a new baby. And then uh, Jill is going to be also going back to college or going off to college soon. And Johnny's currently there. So maybe they figure we need to downsize and, uh, you know, save the extra money that we can get from selling the big house. So I moved them into a smaller house, which um, will also kind of add some tension you know, it's like, okay, now they got to try to survive in this littler house all on top of each other. Um, it's actually a pretty cool little house I downloaded that is um, kind of mid-century modern themed, which I really liked a lot. Um, this is some of the cinema set stuff that I'm using from Veronica. I really like these fancy chairs. I've never been to a cinema with such nice chairs, I don't think, but uh, we can imagine this is The Sims. <laughs> it's a very luxury place. AJ, uh, AJ only uh, gets the best for his for his clients. That didn't. I don't know if cli clients isn't really the right word, is it? <laughs> um, because of the spacing, I ended up making this walkway a little bit too big, but I figured it doesn't really matter. It's just supposed to be the place where they come in, and I kind of wanted to just kind of shape the area a little bit. So that's why I had put that half wall in there to kind of create like a space between the seating area and the walking in area. Um, it's not really designed like a traditional cinema that I've been in where it's like um, you kind of walk in from the back and go down the aisle. And usually it's like at a slope, like you kind of go from high to low. Um, I also, this is the big TV screen, which I realized uh, pops through the ceiling. So I figured, well, maybe it, you know, they have a double a deep or a higher ceiling, I should say, um, for like acoustics or something. Who knows? See, it looks pretty cool. I also really like the walls I used in here. Um, I think I eventually changed all the ceilings to like the star flooring, like looks like little stars in the ceiling. Then I tried to put like a little stage because that made it, I don't know, it felt, felt good to have it like up on a little stage. But I really like these, um, little cinemas. I think it'll be interesting just to see how the Sims handle them. Um, I imagine they'll all be just like standing around talking to each other in the middle of the movie, you know, when <laughs> somebody's going to be changing the channel. Uh, so we're jumping over here to the arcade. Um, oh yeah, I kind of, I guess I, I kind of finished my explanation of the Pleasant View. Those are the only three families that had any issue so um but I, I don't think ultimately i was bummed that i wasn't able to play in the pre-made houses of anymore and i i played with the idea of like remaking them but i just didn't really want to do that <laughs> so um i'm placing these custom lights in this this is these are like blue lights they create like a almost like that um i don't know what it's officially called i can't think of the name of it but like the like the UV light or whatever, where you turn off the lights and things shine. You know, like weird little indoor golf courses that malls always would have or whatever. Um, so that's what I kind of themed this off of. Or 
Yeah, I just kind of themed it off of like a little mall place. Actually, um, I haven't been watching it for a little while, but a little while ago I was watching Stranger Things and they have a se season where they're at the arcade a lot. And um, so I did kind of design some of the internal layout on what I saw in the, that um, show. That would be kind of cool. I think AJ needs to get some like greasy teenager to run the place like like in the show. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Um, unfortunately, there's not a ton of variety of um, video game, con the uh, like standing video games. So I just had to like repeat the same two or three over and over again. And then actually that room, originally I was going to make like a little desk where it was like you turned in your tickets for a toy or whatever but I decided that would be a, like a really big waste of space because it really wouldn't have been functional um, unless I went through the trouble of almost like making a little toy store I didn't really want to do that so I ended up making that into a different little kind of activity room which I actually really like but I'm not sure how it's going to work out um, you'll see here in a second what it is <laughs> now, so these are the little RC cars, which I know they can pick up and place down wherever there's like, they, they send, they can tell that there's like enough room. So I'm hoping that they'll be okay in there and that we're not going to have Sims like chaotically carrying them all over the lot. I have a feeling the, um, the helicopter will probably fly out of there, which kind of would be a little entertaining. And I imagine if you had a little... Um, an arcade where kids could freely use a uh, RC helicopter that it would be utter chaos uh, Kids would be getting it stuck in other kids hairs and slamming into each other and flying it out the door. I it seems like a good time <laughs> um, But that would be interesting to see how that works. I thought it'd be kind of fun I know there's people that get wicked into RC cars and like um, compete with them and everything so I wish that there was like a um like a tabletop game or something like uh there i mean there is there's like the the llama don't there's like a like almost like a jumanji type thing is that the right word like where you stack stuff or i don't know what i'm saying i don't know there's one where like you stack things and they, it falls over when you pull out the thing anyway <laughs> um but um I wish there was like a more casual card game. There's of course the poker table, but I didn't think a poker table looked like uh, like it was in the right place at uh, a kid's arcade. <laughs> um, I don't think we want to encourage the children to gamble, um, but I don't know. I I kind of wish there was like almost like a little Magic the Gathering zone. We could have a little. Oops, I dropped my thing. Um, we could have like a little chap uh, <laughs> a little chapstick table. I dropped the chapstick, and now I'm. I dropped my chapstick. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm deteriorating. But like a like a little card game or like a I don't know some kind of activity table. I ended up putting computers in, and um, so I thought maybe it could be like a little uh, like a little they could all gather to do some online game, a little World of Warcraft campaign zone here um, i almost think that there is a function in one of the hobby things where like you can have a gaming competition we have to have like multiple computers on the same lot that two sims can use I, i'm pretty sure that's this game i might be confusing it with another sims game but i feel like i never do it because it's a pain to like coordinate two sims to to do it um I've never really tried it, but it'd be kind of fun, like, to get, you know, I think of, like, Alexander Goth, and he needs some other, like, geeky friends that he can get together. We can use, like, the groups, uh, the groups function in the game to gather some kids together and get them to all try to play in a competition or something. That'd be fun. Yeah, I, I like how this, um, arcade turned out overall. I think it's a pretty fun little lot to have. Um, in The Sims 3, they introduced arcade lots and stuff like that with... 
think the university pack they had introduced like a bunch of new just kind of recreational um lot types and that's where a lot of these um lots that i'm building here are kind of based off of um because i really like a lot of those lots because there's like a special like coffee shop lot and uh like a bistro and like an arcade then there's like a comic book shop which is super fun um all that kind of stuff i think it all plays into the um like the social groups in the sims 3 but, yeah i put some of these weird they're supposed to be like a neon light but unfortunately they actually do not emit light um although i have just put like you can kind of like hide another wall light in the wall behind it like if you use snapping off and you slide one in there <laughs> it didn't sound right <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> um, but you, you hide a, a light in there and it kind of creates a, a cast of light that looks like it works i don't think i did it there just because i wanted it like a wall decal <laughs> um i really love that this um spaceship wall the space wall so those are those things that I'm placing outside are those ticket machines. I put some signs outside that say like maybe not you're not allowed to bring your own food or something. And then I kind of thought, well, I put the darn these vending machines in there, and that's kind of silly to say no food allowed, but you can uh, buy this. And then it's like, how do you how do you prove the kid bought it here? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I put them outside. I think I'm thinking a little bit too much into that, but it's okay. So I think this is about the end of our of our little speed build here, putting some final decor. Um, I'm excited to get back into playing. I wasn't really in the mood for it tonight. I almost did, but um, I think tomorrow, sometime tomorrow during the day, I'm gonna do some more uh, playing of The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, probably. But I just was um, actually building a little lot um, kind of behind this one. I just did it on my own because it wasn't really a big deal a lot. I made a public pool that maybe we'll go visit at some point. Um, yeah, I guess this is this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like it, especially how it looks at night like this. It'll be really cool. Um, yeah, I'll see you uh, again probably maybe by Sunday. I'll probably upload a video. All right, thanks. Bye.